Hey everybody, welcome to Broadway.com's Live at 5. It is Wednesday, May 8th, and I am Ryan Lee Gilbert. It's matinee day. It's matinee day. You just saw that. I just saw matinee. I'm Paul one time. <laughs> and we are joined here in the studio by Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. And yeah. some of the stars of one of your favorite shows Yes, on Broadway. I'm a big fan of What the Constitution Means to Me, playing at the Helen Hayes Theater. And we have Rose Deli Cipriot and Thursday Williams Woo! joining us this yeah! afternoon. Woo! So excited to talk to them. But we will chat with those two wonderful ladies in general. Just a moment. First, let's talk about today's top five. I'd walk a thousand miles for this Broadway debut. Oh, I love a lyric reference. We Caitlin. love a lyric <laughs> reference. So, <do> you. <laughs> so, Vanessa Carlton. I'm very excited about this. Okay. Yeah. She, I am too. I mean, yeah, I, I love Vanessa Carlton. like I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, she no. is joining the cast of Beautiful, the Carol King musical, playing. Carol, Carol King. King. Yeah. Now, this is the first time we've had a pop star play the pop star. I, I believe Rock so. Star. I yes. Mean, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've had some. Really there have been good, other. Really you know. good people mm -hmm. in that role. But Vanessa Carlton is coming this summer. She will start June 27th. It's a 10 week run. She mm. is, of course, replacing the fantastic Shalina Kennedy, who just. Re rejoined the production, right? She did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yesterday. Um, so Shalina leaves June 26th, the day before. This will be Vanessa Carlton's Broadway debut. I did a little Googling, and I couldn't find any sort of musical theater in her background. No, no. So she's not even like a girl who did it in high school. As far right, as not as know. far as we know, yeah. Maybe she did. Maybe she was in Guys but and Dolls or something. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say, like, as a big fan of hers, like, I was a big fan of her album Harmonium that's got the song White Houses. Okay. And it's she's got, like, that kind of okay. Carol King ability I don't to know write. That. Yeah, but no, gonna, she's I'm gonna, an but incredible I do know songwriter. Her big hit was A Thousand Miles. Yes, that was the uh, big Which hit. is a big hit from her <laughs> debut album, Be Not Nobody. That's right. Well, she's yes. not nobody now because she's coming to Broadway. Um, she awesome. launched in 2002. She got a 2003 Grammy nominations for Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best. And the most important nomination for Best Instrumental Arrangement Accompanying Vocalist. Yeah. That's she also a category? Had, I guess. She also had a music video banned on MTV. Oh, okay. Because she talked about, like, sex. And so they anyway, <gasps> it's super exciting. Everyone Drama. Really Everyone pumped over at the Stephen Sondheim Theater. Rodeo Drive is hitting the road. That's right. Baby. That's Rodeo Rodeo Drive, Drive, baby. baby. <laughs> Ah! That's right. Sorry. Pretty Woman the Musical. It's that a big hit on Broadway at the Nederlander Theater. It is launching a North American tour uh, October of 2020. It will launch in Providence, Rhode Island at the Providence Performing Arts Center. That's all we know. Additional cities, casting, exact dates for all of that we don't know yet. But um, this is a great show. It's a big hit on Broadway. It'll do so great across the country. I'm sure people are eager to see it all over the place. Of course, Samantha Barks, Andy Carl, Eric Anderson, Orfe, and Jason Daniel Lee, as well as Kingsley Legs, can be seen in the show on Broadway right now. It is also nominated for five Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards. So if you haven't voted yet, go there and share your votes. Um, go see it at the Nederlander Theater. And if you can't get to it, you'll get to see it across the country. From Penny Lane to the Lunt Fontaine. Oh, oh, thank you. So, Rain, well a tribute done. to the Beatles. This is one of those Beatles <laughs> tribute shows. It's been around for a while, it's yeah. It's been everywhere. Yes, yes, right? it's been including, all over the world. Including Broadway. Yeah. Um, it is, it's is—it's coming back to the L'Enfantaine Theater where they're doing this in residence mm -hmm. series. Morrissey is currently playing, no playing the theater. Uh, the return run is called The Best of Abbey Road. This is such a, this actually, this is weird. We're going from like Mel Brooks, Morrissey, the Beatles. It's a strange, <laughs> it's a strange journey series. journey at the L'Enfantaine. <laughs> um, uh, it's yeah. called The Best of Abbey Road Live in celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Beatles' album, Abbey Road. You may mm -hmm. have heard of it. It's an eight-performance engagement from July 16th to the 21st. It last played on Broadway in 2010. Uh, and it, it's literally like a recreation show. That they're, yeah, it's right. They're fantastic. Um, and yeah, so four performers play the Beatles and get all the hits. And so uh, I'm sure cool. a lot of people will be lining up for that one. Absolutely. And we got, a, we got a West End transfer happening. Yes, Florian Zeller's The Sun, which has been translated by Christopher Hampton, will move to the West End later this summer. It had a sold-out run at London's Kiln Theater. Previews will begin at the Duke of York's Theater on the West End on August 24th. It will officially open on September 2nd. Uh, it will play a West End engagement through November 2nd. Here's what it's about. The Sun centers on Nicholas, who is going through a difficult phase after his parents' divorce. Oh, When change feels like the only way to survive, Nicholas struggles with 
what to do when the when his options begin to run out. So it's about a boy, you know, getting. I love how you get that little aww divorce. To oh, well, you know, aww, like aww. Um, these actors: Amanda Abington, Laurie Kin- Kynaston, John Light, and Amaka Okafor will reprise their acclaimed performances in the show. And casting has been announced for this UK premiere. Another boy going through stuff is little Josh. <laughs> yes, that's right. Star of Big yes. the Musical. Of course, <laughs> Josh wakes up one day and finds out that he, he's big. He's big. <laughs> Um, this is, of course, the movie we love uh, with Tom yeah. Hanks, and it was a musical on Broadway like 20 years ago, and it's finally coming to the West End. Um, it will be, let's. when does it start? September 6th through mm-hmm. November 2nd, the Dominion Theater. We've talked about it before, but now we know some of the stars. Uh, Kimberly Walsh will be playing Susan Lawrence, who's the love interest. Mm-hmm. Wendy Peters is Mrs. Baskin, the mom who has a ballad in Act 2. And Matthew <laughs> Kelly is playing George McMillan. I don't know that character. Is that the, the toy guy? I, I believe that's the toy, toy guy. Yeah. I think it's the guy yeah. who owns the toy company. Oh, no. yeah. uh, and previously announced, jo- uh, Jay McGinnis will once again play Josh Baskin. He did it previously in 2016 mm-hmm. at Theatre Royal Plymouth. Oh, so he must be anyway, this it. is a really fun musical. It's by uh, Maltby and Shire and John Weidman. And more casting will be coming soon. But I, I would love to see Big and Musical. Me again. too. I never got to see it. Cross the here, line so. is a showstopper. I've listened to it a lot, but I really that, want to see it. That's a good track. All okay, right. I'm going to get out of here. Paul, thank you so much. Two much more talented women coming in my place. Very excited. Caitlin, why don't you tell us about today's very special guests? Gladly. Yes. We have Thursday Williams and Rose Deli Ciprian here with us in the studio. They are two New York City high school students who are alternating, and Heidi Shrek's What the Constitution Means to Me. Uh, the new play just earned two Tony nominations, including Best New Play. Uh, make sure you to follow Constitution B Way on all social media to stay up to date on this Tony nominated work. And please leave all of your questions in the comments below. And please welcome Thursday, Rosdelli, and Ryan. Hello, ladies. Hi. Thank you so much for coming in here. We're so excited to have you. We are such big fans of this amazing piece of work over at the Helen Hayes Theater. Mm -hmm. Um, How are things going over there? How does it feel to be on Broadway in a Tony-nominated show? It's pretty big. (laughs) Um, (laughs) It feels surreal to me, but it's just like, it's like exciting, but now since I've like gotten used to it, you know, some doing Mm -hmm. some of the performances, I'm just like, okay, I'm doing this. I think I'm okay at it. We got a Tony, so yay. You're pretty good at it. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's, it's more scary. No, because I think the pressure, the pressure. Sure. Is on. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm more scared than I was when I first started. Right. Yeah. Well, and I, I want to get to that a little bit. I mean, I know you both. You both were. Um, and make sure, me make sure I have this correct. You are a senior in high school right now, I Thursday, am. right? So, are you? You're graduating soon. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow, that's got to be, and you're a freshman in yes. high school, right? So you've got a journey ahead of you, <laughs> yes. and you are about to, but, and you were uh, well-versed in debating before you got involved in this, right? How did, how did your journey get you into what the Constitution means to me? Um, so I started doing uh, a mock trial. Uh, I joined the legal outreach program, and I did a mock trial at um, St. John's Law, uh, Law School. Okay. And then I made it to finals at Thurgood Marshall Courthouse. That was the first time I ever did public speaking. I won, so I guess I did pretty fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but after that, I... You know, I felt like this is something that I can continue doing. And so I started debating um, at NYU Law School my sophomore year of high school and um, Brooklyn Law School my junior year and my wow. senior year debating at Brooklyn um, Law School. But how I got to what the Constitution means to me, um, I did run for president of my school my junior year. And um, one of my goals as president was to... Um, to get as close as I can to all my teachers in the school, and that's what I did. So I got really close to one of my um, theater teachers, and I mean, I've never had her as a theater teacher, but we just we just got close. Yeah. Um, and they sent her, you know, like we're looking for a young woman of color um, who's curious about the Constitution, who has experience with debate, and I auditioned, got called back auditioned again and, and here then, we are and, yeah yeah and you had people looking out for you that someone brought the the casting to you as well right and encouraged you to get involved yes because i was in my um, middle school debate team ps161 mm-hmm. and mr Beatty was my debate coach but i was also doing plays i we did lion king we did beauty and the beast we okay. did annie which i starred in <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yes. 
We have the star of Annie here. <laughs> but I, I think he recommended me because this was what, the second semester of sixth grade or seventh wow. grade, and I was 12 years oh, old. Yeah. And I think he recommended me. I went to the audition. I think I had to memorize an ep an excerpt from Heidi's speech. I got called back, and here I am. But that yeah. was two years ago. Two years. And I was gonna <laughs> say, you have you you both have been involved for a long time now. How has this sort of changed your life? How has it changed your social life? How has it changed the time you have to do homework? Like, how is it? How has this just altered the life you had been living? Um. Well, my life was already. I didn't, I'm, you were pretty busy. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I'm sergeant of the Explorers program, legal outreach program. I was already busy, but this definitely um, messed with like my, um, like you know, like going out with my family. Yeah. 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 Like they tell me we're going to a party, and I'm like, okay, oh I'll my. be home in in three hours. <laughs> I have a little show to do. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll, um, but no, it really it it it. It changed my social life, but I think it changed it for the better because mm. I'm more focused now. Um, because of the show, I now know that I want to run for Congress, and I now right. know which issues the first issue, like the I prioritize. I have a better understanding of what issues need to be dealt with sooner than later, um, and so even though I lost my social life, I <laughs> kind of gained something else. At life experience, of course. But, but you, Rosalie, you were even younger. Like, what? How has this, uh, how has this informed your life? Changed what do you want to do, all of that? Well, at first, I just wanted to be a doctor, and I, I guess... Just wanted to be a doctor. I And then I started this two years ago, and I got bit by the theater bug, and I'm just mm -hmm. like, oh my god, I really want to do this, so now I want to be, like, a famous actress one day. Love it. And yeah. it changed my social life as well. Like, my friends are just like, we're doing this. Or where you want to go to the store with them. I'm just like, sorry, I can't. And mm -hmm. they're just like, and now I'm like more distant. But Certainly. I think it's better, though. Yeah, no, of course. And the relationship that each of you have with Heidi on stage, I think if you're asking people that are fans of the show, it's one of our favorite parts of that show. When you when you come out and you get to interact with Heidi and then you sit back to back on the stage and all of that, what kind of, um, how did you bond with Heidi? Was there a period of time when you were rehearsing where you would actually debate with her? Like, how did you get to be comfortable with Heidi? Well, you want... Um, we, uh, we workshopped the show. Yeah. We did a, um, so what we would do is every single day when we were working on developing the debate portion of the show, we would come in, get a topic, and do on the feet debate. Mm. And things that, um, that, you know, come, come out, because we get the best stuff when we just yeah. do, like, just whatever comes to mind, just say it. If it's a push your point, just say it. Um, and that's how we get... Um, but it's crazy because some of the things that we do on the show now, um, some of them just happen, you know, out of nowhere. Just sort of and naturally, then it just, yeah. Then we just keep it because yeah. it just seemed to work. Totally, right. Yeah. Well, when I started doing this two years ago, um, uh, we would be like in a room and then we would also be workshopping it. And I'm just like, and me and Heidi, I don't know, we would like, at first we were talking about these weird topics. Like, I don't know why it is. The, uh, why does the dollar say in God we trust? If the, mm. the, the, if we don't have a religion, we would have saying like arbitrary conversations. Sure. And then you know they're just like oh let's do some workshop like let's start debate let's do it on our feet and that's how we that's how like it the first script for what the Constitution means to be started the debate portion I think right. Heidi had our, hers already yeah out. right and then we did that and then Thursday came in and I, I think it was a lot easier mm -hmm. <laughs> because you have another person working with you that's yeah. throwing all these great ideas and I'm just like man <laughs> wh where was this two years ago yeah right no and audience participation is encouraged at the, when you're debating like yeah. that Mike asks every everyone either stomp their feet or yeah. scream. How does that response that you're getting affect what you're doing up on stage depending on you know what side of either keeping or abolishing the Constitution? How does it affect you up there? Do you feed off of it? Yes. Yeah. Because if the, I guess if the, the audience is like, clapping a lot it's mm -hmm. just obviously gonna hype me up and i'm just like yeah 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 <laughs> but then it's the same thing if they don't because i still want them to like to feel like i'm actually proving a point like i want you to actually listen to what i'm saying mm -hmm. and like every audience is different sometimes you'll get an audience that's tough sometimes you'll get some that are just like really riled up and then you'll get some that's a little too riled up but you, yeah. but you appreciate their support anyways totally so, yeah. totally 
Um, I try not to uh, feed off the, I guess, the audience mm-hmm. reaction. Um, because mm-hmm. when I do real debates, it's very intense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so, like, it's, it's really, like, I literally pace back and forth before I go out on stage. Because it's, like, it's so intense for me. Because I take debate a little bit too serious sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're telling me. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really, like, I hold it really close. It's something that I really, like, I think it's very important. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I, sometimes I do. Um, it depends on, I guess it depends on the side that I'm arguing. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes it's like I kind of need them, even though, because I, sometimes I feel like I'm arguing, like, I don't believe this, but I, you know, <laughs> but I believe it, but, right. you know, I don't know if you guys are going to believe it, so let's, <laughs> let's try to believe it, and, and then I'll feel better. So sometimes I do, most times I try not to. Mm-hmm. Just to kind of keep it off. Yeah. Do your family and friends, do they, like hate getting in arguments with you two now at this point like oh don't bring this up <laughs> we're not gonna win this my mom I, sometimes when I, I think when I have like these little arguments with my mom she's like no no we do not bring the debate here you leave that outside you leave that on the stage and I'm just like okay and all my friends are just like no I'm, I'm not wasting my time with you I know you're gonna like mm-hmm. say something I'm just like yeah I know <laughs> what about you Thursday or your friends do they just avoid <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, I take debate. Um, <laughs> You're right. I take debate right. really seriously, Good. so I never, um, I never back down. I'm, yes. I'm just not a part of who I am. Right. And how are you? So the Tony Awards are coming up. You must be insanely excited for this. How are you? How are you preparing for the Tony Awards? What are you doing? What are you? How are you? How are you prepping for this moment in your lives? I mean, oh, you can go first. Well, you can't really pre- yeah. prepare for. I mean. All of the, I'm, I'm still trying to take all of this in mm-hmm. because I've, I've never done acting in my life. Um, and and, and it, it's, it still feels like I'm dreaming. And, and sometimes, sometimes reality hits me in the face. <laughs> but sometimes it feels like I'm dreaming. So, like, the Tony Awards is like, oh, my God. Like, sometimes I have to say it. Like, I'm going to the Tony Awards. Exactly. Like, yeah, it's so cool. The, so I can't, like, it's just a moment that you just can't. Prepare for. I, mm-hmm. I won't be. Prepared. I mean, for my dress, of course. <laughs> right. I was yeah, 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 yeah. Are you, are you, you got to prepare, prepare who you're yeah. bringing, like, what you're wearing. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think mm-hmm. it's like, you know, like it, you know, it's. I don't know. You just have to live in the moment because you know, take it all in. It's one time shot. Absolutely. What about yeah. you? How are you? How are you prepping for this big night? Like there's they say you can't really prep for this. Like mm. um, I'm happy that I'm here. I'm very excited that we got a Tony nomination. And I'm yeah. just like, oh Me my, too. It's, just, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a surreal experience. But then you can't just be like, oh yeah, we're doing this for the Tony Awards. We're doing for the yeah. Tony Awards because this is that wasn't our original intention from the mm-hmm. beginning. We right. just wanted to spread uh, the conversation about that the play brings. But the Tony right. Awards, yeah, it's just like that's a whole nother level of the recognition. Top. It yeah. is. It yeah. is. <laughs> You've had some incredibly. Famous famous um, and powerful people in culture come to the show already. Yes. Who is your favorite that you've seen there or you've gotten to meet and who hasn't come yet that you would really, really, <laughs> really love to come <laughs> to? You can say, I know. You can say as many as I know, know. I so know, I'll I know. The, one that I, the person that I met and I'll say the person that I'm hoping to meet. Yes. So yeah. I, um, so we've all watched Black Panther and The Walking <gasps> Dead. So <laughs> Danai came and yeah. saw my show yeah. and everybody, I was shaking. I was like, like, ah! like before she even comes to it, I was like, I, I, words, like, she's like, you're amazing, and I'm like, you're amazing, we're gonna this whole show that we just did, let's, let's, like, it was, yeah. it was crazy, um, and I would love for Michelle Obama to come see, I'm yes. reading her book right now, yes. and I'm like, oh, the, yes. more so I'm the more I'm falling in love, <laughs> yeah. um, but I would love, I would love to meet her, I feel like we can just make many connections I <laughs> well put absolutely put it yeah. out what there put that in right. the universe yes. it's in the universe RPG. now oh and Ruth, well yeah everybody know I love Ruth Bader again <laughs> who doesn't who like, doesn't like, it's a prerequisite you, with her yeah. Pet, yeah like yeah. it's like you, you can't be in the show and not like RGB <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I when I go on stage, I have her pencil. It's a That's pencil right. that says That's notorious. Right. I don't know. People never pay attention to me. I always walk up with a pencil. Yeah. Some of us are. Why Some of us. Yeah. Why don't they ask, like, why did she come up with a pencil? But, yeah, I love RBG, too. What about you, Rose Deli? 
Meryl Streep came, and oh, Ben yeah. Stiller came, and so did Hillary Clinton, I think, when we were off-Broadway. Right, Those, yep. when Hillary Clinton came, and then they finally told me that she was here, I was shaking. Mm -hmm. I was so nervous, because whenever I get overwhelmed sometime, and when they're it's not shaky. there, I, like, drop. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I yep. drop to the floor, but Hillary Clinton came, Meryl Streep came, and Ben Stiller came, and I was just like, oh, my yeah, that's God. That's your big... Who would names. you love to see? Who would you love oh to see god. in that audience? Oh my god, definitely Oprah. Like yes. first they said, Michelle mm -hmm. Obama. So many would be Goldberg. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. one hundred percent. And my favorite influencer, YouTuber Liza Koshy. Okay, well you are all <laughs> Liza, of you come heard on. it. Come see what the Constitution <laughs> means queen, to me. Queen Latifah too. Oh. Yes, there we go. Absolutely. Yes. We'll invite them all. Just send out invites. They're all watching, probably, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of the people what? that are watching, are they? Yeah. Yeah. they very I, well can could I be. say a message you, to Queen it's Latifah? You're live um, at five. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Please come, Liza. If you're watching me, I um I watch you all the time. I watch your interviews. Yes. I watch Star. Uh, Michelle Obama. I'm reading your book, yeah. <laughs> and I'm yeah. loving it. I, uh, so uh, <laughs> this seems, come and see the show. Come see yeah. the show. Please come seems, and see yeah. the show. And please go to the stage door and tell them. Who, well, they'll know who you <laughs> they'll are. They'll know who you are. They'll know. They'll know. Yeah. They'll know. Liza Koshy, yeah. Michelle Obama, the Miss Obama. That, the people that are watching, what would they like to know from Roselli? Oh my gosh, we have so many questions. People are loving you too so Alexandra wants to know what is one of the most interesting things that you've learned about the Broadway industry so far mm. they're really nice oh, good <laughs> because <laughs> I hope so. yeah, that's good um well I learned that um it's no joke mm -hmm. mm. um uh, off Broadway is totally it's a big different uh, mm -hmm. with with Broadway off Broadway when it was Delhi perform I normally don't have to be there and it's better for me because then I go on to be my president or you know participate right, in whatever right, right, else right. I have but on Broadway I have to be here was yeah. Delhi have to be here and uh, you know it's it, you know and it's a little bit more intense there's a lot more paperwork <laughs> yeah yeah it's a lot more things so to it's, sign it's yeah. really it's it's um so I, I learned that um I also learned that, and I really like this about, I think it's off-Broadway, so I really like this about the, the Broadway community. It's like, they're really close. See, mm -hmm. I don't know all of the underneath, but I know on top <laughs> no, you're right. that they're yeah. really, really close. Yeah. Um, I went to the Easter Bonnet, and oh, I yes. was like, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I and know. then yeah. to hear that these people did it for free was just even, you know, it, it just, you know, it's, it's a good community. It's a good, Aww. it's a family. They're really yeah. nice, but mm -hmm. if you're going to be on Broadway, you got to... Got to become put in the work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And also, Broadway is notoriously superstitious. Do you have any like pre show rituals that you do? Anything, any like mindset, any music you listen to before you go out on stage? What's your, what's your pre entrance plan? Well, when, yeah. when I'm going down, <laughs> down the stairs to the stage, um, we the Helen Hayes just got rebuilt, so it did, yeah. so it smells really good, just mm -hmm. like fresh concrete. <laughs> fresh paint, and fresh then <laughs> when I when I um when I go down, I there's this humidifier that one of like our, our sound their sound people have Mia, mm -hmm. and I sniff it like for about five <laughs> seconds, and then I go down, okay, and then I it. say All hi. Right. Yeah. All right, that's you're you're one of the Broadway community now. That's yeah. how that you are. What about you, Thursday? I don't no, know you just kind of go I out just, there. No, with... I pace back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> I walk to the end of the, and then walk back. Um, the st our stage manager would try to make me dance, but it never worked. <laughs> I dance. <laughs> All right, yeah, get so those I, jitters out. I guess that's out, what's yeah. my, my, but then um, there's something that I always, I guess I do have one. I, you have to stand, before you go on stage, you stand behind like a, 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 like a line, mm. and sometimes tears come to my eyes before I go on stage because it's like I know what I represent, mm. and I know where I came from, and it's like now that I get to go in front of all these people to, to show like that I, who, I, who I am and what I represent, yeah. that, that's what makes me not nervous. No, I mean, yeah. Uh, wait, I have some amazing. Have yeah, please. Well, yeah. when I'm like right when you're walking towards the stage, like when you're like you're going and like Heidi's saying her thing, and then it's like your turn to go on. I always like pull down my dress to make sure it's not like I don't know up. <laughs> <laughs> good no, to do. Good to do. That sounds like that. And then that. I give myself a little pep talk, just like what would Oprah do? <laughs> what would Liza Koshy do? What would Michelle Obama do? And then mm -hmm. I take a breath and then I go on. You know what they would do? They would go see what the Constitution <laughs> means to me on Broadway. We have another question. Yeah. 
yes. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's. this will be our last question. Okay, so people say that you've been talking a lot about how you guys already did debate in the, before you joining the show, but what made you guys even want to get into debate to start with, and how did you guys start this debate journey? Well, there was... Uh, like I said, it w I was in middle school in the second semester of sixth grade. I had just finished a various different amount of programs because my mom always put me in many programs. Mm -hmm. She put me in hockey. She put me in basketball, like field hockey and things like that. And then I did violin for a minute. Oh, wow. I did the recorder okay. for um, a <laughs> well, hot, We all had to do that. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> hot for a hot <laughs> minute, a little, a little club. I did chorus. Okay. Um, and then some... A, a kid from my school, an old friend, he was just like, oh, we're looking for people from, for to join the debate team. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know about that. My mom was just like, you're going to join. Mm. You're going to join. And yep. I was just like, yeah. You never but know I what you're going to like. I know. You know? She, yeah, she said that. She said those exact words to me. So I <laughs> went in and I signed up for it as an elective. And I guess it took off from there. At first, I was horrible. It took me like at least two months or a month to mm -hmm. get the hang of it. But I mean, credit to you and your perseverance with that because look where it, look where it brought you. But yeah. yeah, what about you Thursday? Um, if I should be very honest to everyone on this live. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like. Yeah, <laughs> debate, um, it wasn't me at first. I, 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 was, I was interested in law because I grew up in a neighborhood where I, I, had, I witnessed a lot of in, Injustice, and then mm. that's why I joined the Explorers program to work closer with co cops to bridge the, the community. Wow. Okay, okay. Anyways, um, but yes, yeah, so I was interested in law, but I didn't know specifically what I wanted to do. Um, the legal outreach program came my way, and uh, if I should be honest, um, they pay you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! We all need money. They pay you to do a summer law institute, and I'm like, okay, make some cash over the <laughs> yeah. summer while learning law, which is what, what I, I care about. And then they're like, oh, we forgot to tell you, there's a mock trial at the end, and then. Um, over the summer, it was really rigorous. It, you have to dress. If you dress bad, you de deduct money. If your essay wow. isn't over a certain pages, you deduct money. Double space, deduct money. Fail a test on free get fr test every Friday. It was just really bad. It was really <laughs> it disciplined me um, before my freshman year of high school. But um, I did my first. I did my, my first mock trial. My team was a hot mess. Um, I didn't. We thought we were gonna lose. It was my first time like with all that. And then you know I won. And after that, I was like, let's let's do this. Yeah, let's I mean, go win more. For something that you both thought you may have not been that great at, you are two of the best, as we've <laughs> found out. So um, around here, we consider it a patriotic act to go see what the Constitution mm -hmm. means to me. Uh, and going off of what you said, the representation that both of you show up there and what you're doing um, is absolutely incredible. And you mm -hmm. have all of our admir admiration. So thank you so much for doing it. Thank you so much for coming in here. Thanks for having us. Our, of course, our fingers are crossed for you. Our mine are for Tony night. Yes. Uh, very exciting <laughs> things. Um, thank you so much. Come back and see us sometime soon. And good luck in the rest of the show. Thank Caitlin, you. why don't you take us out? Gladly. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcasts by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when we talk to Tony nominee Ben Walker all about all my sons.